All right, welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. We're still here, stuck on aberration, underground, earthquakes everywhere. I'm Bumbling Survivor. Over there is Steve. He's joined the tribe, the uh, offspring of uh, Stan and Wendy over there. The marshes, if you will. Uh, we're going to start off today by hemming up this here bulb dog. It's another female, so I, I need a male so I can breed him, but... We're going to go on an adventure today, and I need a light pet on my shoulder, because we're into the 90% night again, which is annoying. So we're going to get this guy going, this girl going, get some get some mushrooms or some food in their inventory, and we're going to go on an adventure. I have no idea where. We're definitely going to go up and see if we can find the cave entrance over there, get it marked on the map. I'm pretty sure it's over there, right over there. Hopefully this... Hopefully Steve can handle. All right, what's your name? Uh, Blur. 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 There you go, Blurb. Come here. All right, Steve's looking pretty good. Got a full imprint on him. Her, I guess. Yeah. Every egg I've gotten so far is a female, and I haven't gotten anything with all the right stats, so I don't have any any perfect male or females to do my breeding with. But they're just stegos. They're temporary. I'm not really going to care that much about them. Because they're so slow, I'm going to graduate from them basically as fast as I possibly can. Let's get some food for Blurb. Actually, it's in my pocket already because that's what I use to tame it. Hey. There we go. Oh, you hear the flies. I got I got some fertilizer going out here. Let's see where we're at. We got a couple made already. Hell yeah. Uh, Barbara, why are you by the door? Oh, because the, uh, the earthquakes, that's right. Everybody gets moved around from earthquakes. That's always fun. Alright, let's, uh, let's go on an adventure. Let's go somewhere. You got almost full health. 400 melee damage? Ah, it's, it should be fine. I should be able to take on a pack of raptors for sure. Hopefully ravagers. Ravagers are the only real big concern, but I don't think I have to worry about them down here. That's the sprint. Oh, man. Wouldn't they move faster if I change the plates? I don't know. I, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Do I look like I'm going faster? Sharpen. I don't think the speed's changing. What do you guys think? Oh, that's the dinosaur pooping, not me. I need to poop. Sorry, it's on your back. It'll wash off in the next rain. That doesn't happen inside a cave. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. We'll just, uh, we'll have to put you in the river, I guess. Let the water wash over you. If worse comes to worse, we're at least just gonna get some farm going. We gotta get a bunch of stuff up so we can take it back to the other place and start building a real base. Hmm. I really thought there was a way to uh, turn on their light without having... Oh, it is on. Okay, but I should be able to toggle it on and off without having to throw them down. Right? The internet says it's in the emotes wheel. I do believe they are full of shit. Oh, I laughed. Great. Well, maybe it was there uh, on Ark Evolved. It ain't there now. Maybe I'm blind. Let me know down below. <laughs> Leave a comment if I if I just didn't see it. But I looked like three times. I didn't see nothing. No, we don't want to go through that. Maybe the dino doesn't care? Oh yeah, look at that. Steve's got a level. Let's just go more health for now. Holy crap. All that off one swing. That's half half my weight already. Okay. Um what? That's insane. Where'd the who gave me the biotoxin? The red mushrooms, I guess? That's interesting. 
we're going to have to put a lot of points in the weight. This ain't the best stego for weight. Stamina's not looking good either. Man. A level 5 over after, you can just get gone. Uh, yeah, I needed to go up again. This isn't right. I guess I can grab some thatch while I'm here. I'm gonna need a lot of it. I'm pretty sure I move faster than a stego. That's not ideal. If it's 90% night, then can I go to the surface without a uh, hazmat suit? I don't even get up there without my climbing picks, though, actually. I didn't have made climbing picks yet. A 120 stego, wow. I'm uh, already tired of stegos, though, but cool. This is purple shit. It doesn't know. I'm really just glad I haven't. Ooh, there's a drop. Glad I haven't seen any Yi Lings in a while. Oh, would you guys leave me alone? Just let me walk. Quit pushing into me. So I, I shouldn't just need to go up here and swing a right. And I can go up the hill again towards the cave. Go outside, I think. I also think these new things here, these, I think these are new, they're different than they used to be if they're not new. Yeah, I think I could upload my survivor here. Um, oh, uh, maybe just the creature. I could upload Steve. I can't upload me? No. Destroying the creature? What? Okay, that's not anything I want to do. Alright, so I was totally wrong on that. Hmm. I guess maybe I can download uploaded creatures? I don't know. I don't get it, man. This turtle's being a jerk. Oh, this Paraceratherium has two kids. Don't walk into me, please. Why do they always do it? They just walk right where I'm walking. As quickly as they possibly can. Hey, that drop might actually be uh, obtainable. Look at that. Foliage is taking its sweet time loading in. Our first drop on Aberration. What do we get? Oh, yes, please. An Ascendant Sword out of a blue crate? I'll take that all day. Oh, and 25 Narco. Narcotic. Hell yeah. And some Spear Bolts that we can save to grind up later for metal. Alright, now is this... Might need to go up one more, I think. Let's go over here anyway, just to check. After we... Man, what? There is no light. No light pet here. It wouldn't make sense for it to be in... One of these other things, would it? Alright, a little more research. I believe it is the clap emote. For some reason. Let's see if they're full of shit. Alright. So it's like the clapper. I could kind of get behind that. That's kind of funny. I don't know if they had it in other countries. But back in the 90s. Maybe the 80s even. This might be really old. There was a. Uh, this thing you could buy for your lights in your house. It was aimed at like old retired people, and you could just clap, clap on, clap off, you know, and you could just turn your lights on by clapping. It, it was so dumb. I didn't, I never knew anybody that had one, but I remember the infomercials on TV 
stay up late, like watch Saturday Night Live or something, and you'd, you'd see those commercials. And now it's in the game. Oh, we got a level. Let's do weight. We need weight bad. Yeah, I'm starting to think we needed to go up again. Yeah, we found a we found the cliff edge. Ooh, what is that? Really? I did not know there were horses on this map. A 125 even. Oh my, it can push a stego. That's cool. They need to like implement a mass system in this game, I think. Things that are an order of magnitude smaller, mass-wise, should not be able to push a stego. What's that thing weigh? 200 pounds? 250? Nah, it's probably like 500. Alright, it's not an order of magnitude, but it's a lot. And what, well, maybe, what's a stego? Do you think a stego weighs 5,000 pounds? If a stego's 5,000 pounds and that thing's 500, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's not that big a gap, it's ridiculous. Oh, I think I saw a yeeling up there flying around. Yep. An iguanodon. A couple parasaurs. Two yeelings. Alright, let's check the map. Where are we? How far up here are we? Oh. Yeah, we are. I think we are getting close to the uh, the exit. Let's see what levels these are. Got a 55, a 100 Dita Curious. That one's behind the rock. I can't see it. Oh, uh, uh, that's 55 again. 70 Iguanodon. Oh, here we go. Did that say 5? 15. Alright. Oh, we got a raptor. Level 40? We don't care about that. I need hide, though. It's just gonna ignore me? I didn't really see that coming. There we go. I do have bolas on me, so if the uh, if the yeelings get froggy, we can take care of them. Square shadows. All right. No foliage loading in here. Okay. Okay. Who needs foliage? It's overrated. I'm really kind of sad how bad aberration looks. They did so well on the island. And this is is not up to that standard. And none of the patches seem to help. I think this might be it. Let's turn the stego around. Very much not it. <laughs> Alright. This could be a good PvP hole to hide in though. Oh, Steve's got another level. More weight, please. I gotta keep the narco berries and the the acerbic mushrooms so that I can make more narcotics when we get back to base. Or whenever we need them. Alright, it's up there, so we gotta go up one more level. We're gonna have to get close to those yeelings. Oh, something's fighting it. What is that? Oh, a trike? There are trikes on this map. Okay, cool. I was starting to think there weren't. I could have swore there was. That's the first one I've seen. This could get harrowing. Oh, Steve's got a poop. Not the time, Steve. Take that, Yiling. You got nothing on me. 
Oh, but I got so much crap for just swinging my tail around. Steve, you're so slow. This is this is painful. Oh, you want a piece? You're stuck in here with me now. Told you. I don't think I can get Steve up here. Can I get up there? Yeah, I can. Look at that. All right, let's uh, let's go have a look. Stay calm, Steve. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hey, look here. There's no mistaking it. Yeah. That was a giant armored mole rat. Thankfully, it wasn't aggressive, so I was able to get a good look at it. Its appearance made me realize something that I'd taken for granted. Every creature I've encountered has some basis on either a known species or human legend. Golems and wyverns never existed on Earth, but humans did write stories about them. Even the FSBMMs, still cross with them, appeared to be a pastiche of known fauna. What does that mean? Uh. Are the curators of these stations human? Do they merely possess extensive knowledge of humans, or am I grasping at straws? I can't say, but it's worth pondering. I don't know, lady. I would agree it's worth pondering. I'm the wrong person to ask. Alright, so Steve's on that level right now, right? That's where I just got stuck. Yeah, that's like the square shadow shit down there. Oh, oh is this it? Did we find it? I think we might have found it. I don't know why I don't have a weapon out. Really, bow is. Well, maybe we didn't find shit. Oh no, that's that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Check the map. Oh yeah. Bright sunlight up off the mountain up or off the cliff face. Yep, this is it. Hundred percent. Yep. There's the crazy radiation. Starving, huh? Okay. Don't make weird noises when I'm getting close to stuff that can kill me, please. Ah, some vitamin D, finally. This is the only one I've been outside of before. I can't remember if I used my climbing picks or not. I think I probably did, because on uh, Arc Evolved, you don't. You can just drop your uh, cryopods anywhere. Yeah, there's no way to walk up there. Oh, yep, yeah, it's super hot here. Alright. Get out. Let's go back. We don't want to die. Alright. We now have a place marked on the map to go to the surface. So we need... We might need our tech suit to go up there. I don't know. We can't make another one on this map. I'm surprised I got to keep it. Still doesn't. Still feels like cheating. Didn't get to keep it in the first game. All right. Well, we got a we got a book or a note, and we found our way to the surface. Uh, now we gotta find our way back to Steve. Dave, make a noise. Hmm. I climbed up a bunch of rocks. There's no pathway up here. You can't bring a you can't walk a dino out here. Like Yi Ling and the The dragon things, what are they called? Are the only things that you can get up here with. Potentially. Not good to be near the edge during an earthquake. See? Oh my god, I didn't die.
All right, we got to get Steve on our hot hot bar here. On our hood, Steve. Oh, I was pretty close. I would have guessed the other way. Oh, okay, yeah, right here. Cool. Let's uh, harvest this up and go home. Oh, sorry, Steve. Look out. Don't worry about it. Bullshit, you're stuck. Turn around. Steve? Alright. You had me concerned there for a second, Steve. Man, I'm starving again. Because I'm not getting off the, the dino to poop. If you don't know, the uh, little ham bone there on the bottom right, when it starts flashing, you need to take crap. And if you don't take crap, then it starts going down faster. And you need to eat more. Not too big a deal once you're established and going in the game, but getting started, it can be really, really hectic. Hmm, should I go ahead and... I think I'm going to put a marker here, too. That's not how you spell way. Way to surface. Yeah, there we go. Now we have it mapped out. Oh, man. Why does it look like total dog shit? Do I want to go that way? Towards the lake? Ah, oh, God, come on. You don't have to move so fast. I basically have to relearn this map. It's been so long since I played it. And I never really... I never learned the red zone. I learned some of the blue zone. I had basically abandoned the green zone as mostly useless. I guess it's good for wood. And stone. But all the metal's in the blue zone. What's this bulb dog? Are you male? You are male. You're a little turd. But I need a male. Let's get it. Um, I need mushrooms, please. Thank you. Very nice. So I'm gonna take two. That's what I like. The stego has two babies. What's up with the dinos all having two babies? Uh, you don't need a name. Can you follow me, though? Because I don't have a cryopod or anything. Right. I bet you can walk faster than a stego. Yelp. <laughs> oh, what is this one? Is it better? No, that's a turd. That's an actual turd. Just a walking little sausage of turd. Yeah, I couldn't get away from this bulb dog if I tried. <laughs> what? Oh my god. How are stegos this slow? Lots of over raptors down here. I do like that. Once we're ready for those, we know where to come get them. Ovis surviving so long is so weird to me. They survived for seconds on the island. This should lead us back down to the river, I think. Yeah, that's that's got to be the river, right? Flat spot. That's the only thing that's flat in nature. Even though this isn't really nature, per se. Yeah, there's Wendy and Oliver, Stan, and about to die over there to the left. Stegos have stamina problems, speed problems. They're just not great dinos. I guess they're... I think they're pretty good at soaking in PvP. Not the Mormon soaking, mind you. But the uh, soaking of damage. Because you, you can get their health pools pretty high. 
and the plates. The you can set the plates up so they you don't take damage. Or it's very hard for you to get hit. I think you can even completely prevent getting dismounted being on a stego. I'd have to go back and watch my video. It's amazing the things we forget when we don't use these creatures. All right, let's put. Let's. I don't even remember your name. Blurb. <laughs> what a dumb name. What was I thinking? Uh, no name. Uh, uh, male. Dude, come here. All right, I'm gonna breed up my bulb dogs, and I probably get off for the night. It's getting late. Oh, blurb follows me too. All right, stop it, dude. Come on. How'd you get out of the house? These things are sneaky. Alright, come here, Blurb. Alright. As I was saying, I'm gonna get all the stuff off of Steve that I need. Wood and what have you. Oh yeah, this all this good stuff. That's enough for now. Oh, I can't sprint. I can still move fine. That's alright. We're gonna breed up some bulb dogs. And, uh, man, I don't know what. We gotta start working towards getting back to our other base location. Maybe we'll do that next time. I'll grind up some, uh. some materials, maybe. Or maybe just take the, uh. Man. I'll probably. Maybe I'll. How about this? I'll breed up some more stegos. So I can take a perfect pair over there and like take like four, a perfect breeding pair and like two, two maybe three fighters, so four or five. We'll take a four or five train of Stegos over. And uh, establish a perimeter where I want to live. And get going proper. Because I don't want to be over here. I hate the sound of that waterfall. It's it's already grating on me. But uh, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Helps the video get seen by more people. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. we got at least two new videos coming out every week. So far, it's three. It's been three for a while now. It's probably going to drop back down to two here at some point. As uh, when I start playing Rust. And to be honest, it depending on if I play the next... Rust White before or after I finish publishing the last one will determine whether which game gets the shaft. Or if a game gets the shaft. But we'll see. The future is uncertain, right? So, uh, yeah, leave a like if you like the video. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. We got Rust Mondays, Seven Days Wednesdays, and Arc Fridays. Everything's going great. We're only... As of recording this, I think we're only 10 subscribers away from being able to apply for the, not a partner program for YouTube, but whatever they call it. It's not the ad revenue level, but the one where you can make uh, uh, da, 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 like, like Patreon level stuff, type stuff, the, uh, the memberships where you can join the channel. So I'm gonna have to figure out what, what's all involved in that soon that'll be fun but uh yeah if you like the video do all the things and i'm gonna quit rambling and we'll see you next time thanks for watching stay safe out there